Studios. So Minecraft just released a brand new snapshot called 22W13, one block at a time, and obviously this is this year's April Fool joke. This is one of the best things about Minecraft, seeing exactly what's going down with these, and so what is happening here? Let's find out, I guess. Um... <laughs> okay, so... I'm a little bit more confused than I was before. However, I love the doubling of the number of hands that we can see in Minecraft. This seems like a serious improvement. So I guess instead of, oh, I get it. Instead of having a hot bar, <laughs> we just have two hands, which we can use to carry around blocks. If we try to break any more, it won't work because one block at a time. Also, for some reason, there is a, there is a lovely little trail of blocks that lets you know where you've come from. And so this is a uh, this is a really exciting change to Minecraft because for too long, we've had these huge inventories and it's just so hard to keep them organized. In real life, you don't have an inventory. You don't press the E key and see what's going on there. In real life, you have two hands and what you can hold is what you can hold. And a meter cubed of sand is honestly a very big uh, ask for that. So as you can see, this is a revolutionary update uh, as far as that is concerned. But you know what else is revolutionary? The fact that we can take not just uh, sand, or I'm assuming, can we even craft actually? That's, <laughs> oh, that's so weird. You throw the blocks down on the ground. Oh, that is very strange. But as you can see, um, this will work for any block. It's it's very surreal to see this second <laughs> ocelot hand just doing nothing. And uh, yeah, no, okay, there's no inventory. That's, I mean, I guess that would be not one block at a time. We'd be taking one, <laughs> <laughs> one of these uh, these wood blocks, and we'd be turning it into something else. So, yeah, none of that is allowed. Instead, you can just move one block around at a time and place it down. Do items still exist? That's my question, because, like a stick, for example, oh, well, if you, if, you, if you break a dead bush, you get a dead bush. That's beautiful. You know what? What happens if we... Can we pick up a... a, a, a can we pick up a rabbit? That's my question. Oh, I don't know where he went, but he's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Oh, where are, where are the rabbits? Go oh, they're on my head. <laughs> can we place them down now? Oh, we can. We can throw rabbits around. Okay, this is beautiful. We have made a rabbit stack. This is this is the new game, I think. How many mobs can we get on our head? And uh, yeah, because of the fact that there is no inventory, no food is required in this update, which I think is a really cool uh, plus in my opinion. We can't punch the baby or I'm just not good at it. I'm not sure which it is. He's not going on there though. Instead, no, no, my, <laughs> my rabbits, <laughs> come back. Okay, so we got, we got the rabbits back, thankfully. And uh, we should probably go add some other mobs to the top of this. Oh, we can't pick up cactuses while we're doing this. We can die though, which is impressive. In a game mode about hunger, managing to die is something. I need to know what the end outcome is. Like, there's no way, okay, we get pricked to death, which is funny that it says that in English. And uh, then we end up, Right back where we started. Except actually, is this where we started? It doesn't look like it, does it? So, will water still... Can we pick up water, actually? No, you can't pick up water. But we can pick up, for example, by going to the bottom here, a block of magma. It just takes a while and then causes me some pain. So now we've got this magma block that we can carry around with us to friend those uh, rabbits to get back on my head. So yeah, it is very, very strange, to say the least, to just... Like, what happened to the other sugar cane that we had there? Like, can you even do any farming? I guess you can farm, technically. But if you break the bottom one, then it all just vanishes otherwise. And so if you want to just have less sugar cane, <laughs> that's an option for you. Welcome to Minecraft. What, what happens if we punch salmon? Do they go on my head too? Okay, they do. You can pick up mobs in unlimited quantities. The only stackable item now is officially going to be mobs. <laughs> and you better believe... The way I'm taking- Oh no, you can only get one salmon on your head at a time. That seems silly. That seems- That seems like an arbitrary restriction. <laughs> I don't know if the salmon likes being there. How far can we throw this guy? Pretty far, actually. Do you like that? I like that. Let's- Let's pick him up again then, shall we? I have been training for a while to enter the salmon throwing competition. Didn't realize it'd be such a useful talent over here. And I think I just killed him. Oh, whoa, look at that. The item he drops just appears on the ground. And now we can throw, it's like a little little door plate. A little doormat, I guess. That's the word. There's no such thing as a door plate. Not in, not in this universe yet. Oh, it's so cool the way you throw that though. These are fun Minecraft physics. 
This is what I like to see in a snapshot for April Fools. Um, obviously, sometimes Mojang has come out with like absolute banger features while you know, like making them as a joke effectively. Um, but I think every every now and then they just have like something where it's an interesting exploration of a mechanic. Like you know, think about the dimensions feature was very very fun. Also, will sheep stack on our head, or do we just get one of these two? Okay, no, we we can have multiple sheep. Okay, that's that's the name of the game. Collect all the sheep, all the mobs, make the tallest tower we can and then see how well this goes. But yeah, I really love when uh, the snapshots are asking these interesting questions, or at the very least, like, uh, they're allowing us to play around me mechanics, such as, you know, the, the block placing and breaking thing? You kind of just break it and it magically ends up on the ground, and then you, you can place it by just magically placing it right back there. What if there was an actual process for picking things up and throwing them? In that case, the process probably would include sheep. <laughs> how many do you think we can end up with? That's the real question. Is there, is there going to be a speedrun category for any percent 15 sheep? I hope so. I love the sheep bars, by the way, which are just appearing to the left and right of me according to the subtitles. Yep, I'm pretty aware there are sheep on my head. That's, that's something I've kind of adjusted to. Actually, can we have different types of mobs in this stack? Are mobs not only stackable, but like multi-stackable? That's, that's the next very important question. So like before, we can't add babies to the stack, but we can. Oh, wow, look at that. We're just adding all sorts of different mobs to this pile. Uh, they are now... Oh, wait, they're at the bottom of the pile, though. I think it's going by size. I think if we add a pig... Oh, it's upside down. Why is the pig upside down? <laughs> I guess we pick up pigs that way. Actually, what we'll do now is we'll see, before we get too far into this, what happens if we drop the... T oh, no, they all stay together. <laughs> they do just stay together in a very beautiful way that causes no one any issues. Except the pig, who is just hell-bent on going places. So I'm gonna pick you right back up, and we're gonna add more mobs to the pile. Oh no, I killed a pig by throwing him too hard or something. I, I, I don't even know, honestly. Oh, okay, so here's something crazy that's happening. The more mobs we add, I think it's actually chickens. The chickens are actually allowing us to glide a little bit because they're holding us afloat. This makes me think that if we get enough chickens, we'll effectively be able to fly forever. Or maybe just one chicken gives us the same effect. But I'm hoping we stack chickens well enough and we get free gliding built into Minecraft. That is now my new dream. Oh, I can't pick up any more animals though. Look, the pig just refuses to be picked up. We could probably rearrange our stack some or maybe we could add chickens without adding any other mob. That's what I hope because they're so tiny. They should be able to go on the pile, right? Nope. We have reached the maximum number of mobs in our stack. And it's giving us this lovely little uh, little gliding effect. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can fly over this river by utilizing this lovely glide effect. We'll get a whole bunch of momentum. We'll sprint and then we'll go. Okay, no, a little bit too far down in my, for my liking. Okay, one more time. We can do it. Let's fly. Okay, we definitely get too slow, too fast. We could also throw all the mobs off and get a very large number of deaths to happen instantly. But for now, I just want to throw them off just to... Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that didn't work out I was intending. Also, look, there's a chicken in between the cows and the sheep too. Why is this possible is a question you might be thinking to yourself. Because, I mean, why is this possible? Why is there a chicken that is able to support the weight of two pigs and... One, one pig and two cows? We don't get to generally ask these questions. And maybe that's our big mistake. <laughs> Okay, this is I've actually found the real big mistake like what is happening here? Oh Okay, what is is it? What what just knocked me up so much? Is it was it the chicken? Is the chicken hurting me? Yep, that's my only conclusion the chicken hurts. Oh, maybe maybe the mob Okay, no, we're gonna pick up the mob. Oh, we picked up the mob and we picked up some chicken somehow Oh the skeleton you monster Okay, so yeah, we can only pick up one hostile mob at a time. He seems to take up the entire stack. And so we're going to use the skeleton as a personal defense turret. Because as you can see, the skeleton's around me. Now with basically no effort at all. Look, look at this. He's going to hit the he's gonna hit the husk. Probably. He's going to do it. It's, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Maybe he's not. I guess I've got to jump and then they, he'll do things. There we go. If we run into things... While we're running, the skeleton will fire in the direction that we are running. Oh god, look at this skeleton! He's got binoculars on! <laughs> what is that? Okay, so my first impression is I love this thing. Now we're gonna go into the changelog and we're gonna see exactly what and why they did 
and kind of compare that because I need to see. And uh, looking here, you can see, yep, they've uh, they've removed the inventory to solve inventory management. You've got to admit, people have been complaining at Mojang. There's too many items, not enough ways to manage the inventory. Solving that, they've actually decided to add 14 quintillion inventory slots by, of course, making the entire Wolja inventory. Now, that is smart. Also fixes every inventory bug, including MC4, as they sarcastically say here. They've made glass 50% more realistic when throwing it. So we're going to give creative mode a bit of a try now. See exactly how that one goes down. As you can see, there is no health bar. And instead we can... Okay, there's no pick block. <laughs> there's no inventory screen here. You still pick blocks up one by one. It's just now we can fly. So we can reach, say, a village and get some glass blocks. Are there any glass blocks in these any not anymore, or is it just panes? If it's panes, that might be a bit of a problem. Are there really no glass blocks in this village? There's not. Are there furnaces? Yes, there is a furnace wherever there's a blacksmith. We could throw sand in the furnace. Actually, do you think that all works? Also, can you stack villages together? <gasps> you can! <laughs> can we stack the gold on top, or can we just keep stacking villages? Oh my god, this is, this is the dream right here. This is all I've ever wanted to do, is have a stack of villagers this tall, and that way we can achieve all the trading in the world with one very tall totem. This is beautiful. Let's put them all inside a house. Oh wait, there is, there is a furnace right here. So how do you think furnaces work in this update is a really important question. The answer is they don't. <laughs> how are we gonna get glass then? Because there's no glass blocks, it's only glass planes. There's no glass box. Because there's no glass blocks anymore. There's only glass panes. It's very hard for me to say for some reason. Also, did you, <laughs> did you hear that? That if you throw the glass and we miss, I think I think it breaks. Okay, no, it's fine. I think I just like, I threw it and then it didn't land somewhere. How did that just happen? I want to try that again. <laughs> like I threw it and then it literally smashed. Okay, I'm going to throw it up in the air like that. Oh, whoa, oh, that was surreal, actually. I swear to God, we saw we saw glass break, right? I'm not going crazy on that. We're gonna throw it really hard at something where it shouldn't stick. It bounces off sometimes. What is happening with this? <laughs> there we go, you saw that. Wow, every now and then glass breaks. So I wanna try out a full glass block because that sounds like it's even more fun. But if we can't smelt glass, I don't think it exists anywhere naturally, does it? Okay, so, uh, new game here. How would you get glass otherwise? You'd, you'd take sand, obviously, just like so, and you'd throw it in a smelting machine. Can you just throw it at the smelter? Let's find out. Okay, you can't. Also, throwing sand is so strange, because it's like a... Oh, yeah, this is very odd. Oh, what is, what is happening here? I guess, okay, we're gonna throw it into the lava, and then that will magically... Aha! Solve all my... <laughs> Is that really how that works? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> I guess so. What happens if we throw this in there? Okay, we get nothing. So, as you can see, we've now got a glass block, which we could place somewhere if we wanted to, or we could throw it and see where it lands. It's just so strange. I guess, honestly, if you think about it, this is how glass should work. You should have to throw glass into place. That's what all major builders do. It's the commonplace practice. But also, there should be a chance that maybe you throw glass wrong, and maybe, oh wow, that bounced twice. There's a chance sometimes you throw glass wrong, and that sometimes it just breaks. <laughs> so yeah, they also say they've redesigned combat to be a more immersive experience, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, I guess you could argue throwing, throwing mobs repeatedly is actually immersive. Like, we could pick them up, we can throw them, and then I guess the angle doesn't take full damage, huh? What, a, what an interesting struggle. But yeah, uh, th there's a lot of interesting things they've done here. I, I love the addition of lots of these. The fact that, by the way, we can still... We can ride a horse still. I mean, we can't because we don't have a saddle. But we could theoretically ride a horse. Is very interesting. But there is a sneaky block inside this update. And what is that sneaky block? I think we could probably spend all day and not find out what it is. I mean, it's got to be something about... If, if, if lava smelts things together... Does water do anything? Can harvesting do anything? Apparently not, we've just got seeds. Oh, that's nice, we can do harvesting still. We can get potatoes, we can throw those potatoes. <laughs> okay, that's fine, I'm gonna throw potatoes at the golem. Well, I guess they go through the golem. Can we pick up water source blocks? No. We could probably remove water source blocks if we do that. 
but that's not going to be useful. And we can still ring bells. But what is the sneaky block going to be? Let's do everyone's favorite thing and Google and find out. Oh wait, no, I missed something way more important we should go to first. Okay, so apparently chests have been uh, changed to be much more exciting. Oh. I guess, I guess that's how. I guess you go- <gasps> Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I guess you don't open the chest- Oh! So what you do is you pick up the chest and then it explodes and then if you want stuff, you can grab it. So we can now actually get our hands on some iron or an iron sword, which can't be used to do much. <laughs> I guess we can throw it, maybe. That's gotta hurt, right? Oh, yeah, you can! Frisbee mechanics! Heck yeah! <laughs> this is what I like to see. Let's let's kill some, some, some people with the frisbee mechanics. He doesn't like it, but he's gonna go down anyway, huh? Yeah, how'd you like this, buddy? You like being frisbee dat? <laughs> This is amazing. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna kill various Minecraft mobs now. Oh my god, he bounced quite a bit. We're gonna kill a few Minecraft mobs now, just to kind of test things out. Yeah, you wanna go? I bet you do. There's not much you can do about it, though. I wonder if the stack stays together if the bottom guy dies. That's what I'm wondering now. Oh, he's getting away. He's, he knows what he's gonna do. Well, just in case you're curious, and maybe you should be, apparently the end portals don't spawn in correctly. You get one, Little end portal cube, and that's the entirety of it. If you want to get any more, and then we could place them one after another after another. I mean, I guess if this is what it has to do. And then we could give ourselves one after another after another. It's very strange that they all have Eyes of Ender in them. I wonder if that's a deliberate feature they're going to make reference to later. But yeah, for now, we just have to slowly spam these in. The end result, of course, being an end portal frame, which generates <laughs> in front of the portal. Why is that true? Why can we not- See, this is the one block we can't actually do something with. We can break it. Oh, no, we can move this around. We just can't see it while it's in our hands. Like, I'm holding nothing, but I can throw it around if I really want to. And it will magically reappear sometimes, maybe? I don't- I don't understand this at all. Do you want to just go to the end and see what's happening there? I think we need to. Ooh, the end. So as you can see, in the end- Oh, all the mobs are holding blocks! We- we actually became Enderman for a day! Oh, that's cute. Look at this. I've- I've got a stack of Enderman now. <laughs> Between us, we can hold all the blocks. Oh, this is beautiful! This is like a party. I like this. So as you can see, there's a ton of- ton of Enderman walking around of all sorts of blocks. Um, I'm gonna throw these away. Oh, they teleport as a stack. That is very surreal. And there's an Ender Dragon. But first, I need to know what happens with these. Oh, you can just pick up- the end crystals, uh, all you like, and you can move them around and they won't break, which is kind of beautiful. But yeah, the main event here is of course the dragon. The dragon is beautiful and majestic and perhaps the best thing uh, in this update. It's so weird seeing her get the power from an end crystal that isn't one of her main ones. It's just, it's very strange to look at. I've, I think this is the first time we could properly move around these blocks just in the base game without having to do things with it. But again, the, the goal here is to get the dragon to come down. Anyway, yeah, the end is a very interesting place, is I guess the point I was trying to raise. I don't know what the dragon's doing here. I just know I want to get up on top, which apparently we can't do here in the end dimension. But if we were to go back to the overworld... Wait, do you see that? That's a, that's a steep head on the ground. Oh, I guess all the endermen are dropping their blocks and picking up new ones. So the end is actually the most block-filled dimension. This is cute. Yeah, look at this. Slowly, if you watch long enough, I guess enough Enderman will slowly re replace the end with brand new blocks. Anyway, as you can see, if we're to ride a dragon in the overworld, we get the ride a dragon <laughs> achievement. Because yes, if you get a dragon in the overworld, which you can of course do in legit survival in this update, because I mean the combat's so much easier, you get a dragon and you get to see exactly what it's like to fly on this craziness. I think we have to go into first person. Okay, even in first person, we don't get to see so much. We just get to see that like, yeah, Minecraft be pretty wild, huh? This is why we need rideable dragons. And this is a snapshot, which as we all know is a development version of the game, confirming that rideable dragons are definitely here in 1.19. Just don't ask any more questions than that and accept that, yep, it's April the 1st and therefore nothing suspicious would ever happen. This is a very real, very fun snapshot. And uh, this is a great new feature coming soon. The, 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 the suspicious block is something we have not uncovered in our 
uh, 40 minutes of playtime here. Yeah, I really do believe this is a bizarrely interesting update and I, I like it. I like to see Mojang experimenting. I feel like sometimes when the hype gets too high for April Fools, it defeats the point of just having a fun update and goofing off. And I like that this is making fun of the whole one block of a, a time uh, rule that Jeb mentioned as one of the core designing functions of Minecraft. And so it's, yeah, it's very, it's very cool to see. Uh, there's some fun to be had in here, including, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a ruined portal below the surface. It looks so interesting, but there's some fun to be had here at the bare minimum download the snapshot just so you can ride a dragon Isn't this what we've all wanted in the world? And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video make sure to actually you not know, no, 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 no we, we can't end yet before you enjoy the video First of all, there's no uh, I guess there's no warden. This is not a 1.19 base snapshot What happens if we spawn in the wither? Can we pick him up? I, I feel as though we might be able to Apparently no. The wither is unpickupable and the other thing that you might find interesting is the fact that... What is that over there, actually? Is that just an ocean ruin coming out? Or is that... Yeah, I think that's just an ocean ruin that's spawned on the surface. Or a... Is this something new, actually? It looks new, right? I mean, I know I know it's just... It's just ocean ruins, but it's so cool to see. Uh, they look different on Java, or I've just found a weird seed. Not sure which of those it is. I guess we'll do the classic thing and we'll break it, see what's in here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's one last thing I want to show you, which is very interesting because if you have, let's say, a pig on your back, you might have noticed pigs are upside down. And so, if you if you pick up a pig, uh, what you can actually do with it is you can. There we go. Gravity gets flipped, and you'll be able to walk upside down. Just to show you that's legit, I'll uh, go in survival now. I'm in survival, and I'm walking upside down on the top of this tree. I'm sure there's some very intense, <laughs> very crazy way to use this. Um, wait, actually. I know that there is. Well, never mind. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run on the top of this cave right here just to show you something fun uh, that I like about this update because you can genuinely run upside down, which is that not the dream we've always wanted. It is the dream we've always wanted. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed because I'll see you in the next one. Oh, look, the creeper explosions make cobblestone. That is interesting too. There's so many weird easter eggs and quirks and I, I, I like that. But this has been my fun time. Uh, give it a try yourself, of course. Give it more of an ex uh, experience. And for now, I guess I'll see you all later for a live stream. Uh, maybe. Goodbye. This is such a stupid feature, but I, I just, I find it hard not to love.